Hi friends, welcome back to my channel that is classes for you. In my previous video, I just told about the triangle and its property part 1 and today I will tell part its uh, part 2 that is some concepts are there. So we will see what are those. Okay. Welcome back the topic the angles and property of a triangle and another topic is Pythagoras property. So first we will see about the topic one that is angles and property of a triangle. Friends here I consider one triangle that is ABC you have to draw one parallel to BC that is XY parallel to BC okay you have to draw as xy the line xy parallel to bc so friends here angle 2 is equals to angle 4 okay angle 2 is equals to angle 4 then angle 3 is equals to angle 5 okay name it as 1 and 2 since the angles are Alternate interior angle. Okay. So now what you have to do, you have to 1 and 2 add 1 plus 2. What you will get? That is angle 2 plus angle 3 is equals to angle 4 plus angle 5. Okay friends, now what you have to do, you have to add angle 1 to both sides, means left hand side and right hand side. So what you have to do, add angle 1 to both sides. Okay, so what you will find friends, here what you will find, that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equals to. So, here what you will find angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equals to angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5. As your line xy is a line, so, or you can say it is a straight line, so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equals to 180 degree. Since angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is straight line, so it is 180 degree. So in this way you can say the angles of a triangle that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree. So let's see one example regarding this, okay. See that, see that, uh, see that example. See friends, suppose if angle A is 40 degree, okay, and angle B is your, let us suppose uh, 90 degree, okay. You have to find angle C by using this property. So, what we will now we have to find angle C. So, what we have to do, as we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degree means the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so what is your angle a that is 40 degree plus angle b 90 degree and angle c as it is so 180 okay so angle c plus 90 plus 40 what you will get 130 okay so 180 so angle C is equals to 180 minus 130 that is your angle C is 50 degree. So friends in this way you can find your third angle of a triangle by using this property. Next we will move to Pythagoras property how it work by using example I will tell okay. So move to that. So friends, 
here i will explain that is pythagoras property so by taking example that is you have to draw one right angle okay named it as q okay other two uh, vertex as p and r okay so here this pr pr is your hypotenuse hypotenuse means it is the largest side of this triangle okay and pq and qr pq and qr are the sides of sides of right angle okay so friends here what this concept says that suppose i named it as c this side as a and this side as b so this concept says that c square is equal to a square plus b square my pythagoras property says that c square is equals to a square plus b square so see example one example i will take uh suppose this is this side is your 4 cm and this side is your 3 cm you have to find so c square is equals to 4 square plus 3 square that is what you will get 16 plus 9 how much 25 so you have to find c as this is c square is equals to 25 so c will be 5 cm so friends in this way you can find the third side of a triangle right angle triangle okay so please watch my other videos also and previous videos also in which i covered basic concept so thanks for watching this thank you